Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Welcome back to the channel. As I do with every video, I want to start off by saying thank you to all the subscribers, all the viewers on the channel. Immensely appreciate the support. I do apologize to the regular viewers on the channel. I have definitely been uploading on a very irregular schedule. I hope to rectify that. I hope to correct that moving forward here. A little bit more regular content on the channel. Did not realize it's been almost seven weeks since I put out my last video, so I definitely want to fix that moving forward. I've been looking through the video comments and a lot of you guys want to know what the current position of the portfolio is. It's been quite some time since I've done an update video. So I thought I'd take the opportunity today and do that. Take a look at every position in the portfolio, highlighting some of the big changes I've made and some of the plans moving forward with the portfolio where I'd like to take the portfolio over the next few months to year. Uh, but let's take a look at the, the performance over the past uh, few weeks to month. You can see here in after hours trading today, up very nicely here, 22.19.91. The past day of trading, it's down a bit here, as you can see, 95.59 up on top there, 1.76%. But if we take a little bit longer term perspective here, you can see a very nice performance over the past one week of trading, 47,808, 9.86%. One of the best weeks in the portfolio by far. And over the past one month of trading, I have to say this is the best performance. 137,393, 34.76%. And I'll highlight some of the trades that have accounted for that remarkable upswing here over the past one month of trading. But let's go ahead and go down into the portfolio. You can see I have a couple pending options trades. I'll, de I'll detail those on another video. But let's go down to the stocks here. If you guys have looked at or watched my prior all portfolio review videos, I have each of the stocks in their particular market segments. For example, up on top, I have ETFs followed by uh, pharmaceutical stocks, healthcare services stocks, moving into industrials, moving into uh, consumer discretionary. I'll go ahead and detail all of those as we move from market segment to market segment. But again, I wanna go through all of the positions and I'll highlight any big trades or any big plans I have for the portfolio moving forward over the next few months to one year. So let's go ahead and dive in here. Up on top here, I have my ETFs or exchange traded funds. A lot of the stocks, I only have one share or only a few shares. Those are because those were in the original portfolio, the Robinhood portfolio that I established. But a lot of the stocks I have been adding to, expanding the uh, position. So some stocks have quite a few shares, a pretty big market value, a big holding, but a lot of the positions only have one share. So take that into consideration as we go through the uh, stock portfolio here. So again, up on top here, my ETFs. First one is DVY. I have one position for 96.38, followed by SCHD, one position 63.81, followed by Vanguard, a Vanguard high dividend ETF, VYM, 20 shares, 18.09 for market value. If you take a look at the overall return on the bottom, 480.57, so a very good performer. And you can see over the past year here, that big drop with the coronavirus pandemic initially, it's really been doing nicely, regaining all of its value over the past few months of trading. That is followed by SDY, SP, DR, S&P 500, dividend ETF, one share, 106.36. A power shares, S&P 500, SPHD, High dividend, low volatility fund. I do like this because this is one of the only dividend paying ETFs that pays out on a monthly basis. As you can see on the bottom there, very large position, 160 shares, $6,009. On the bottom there, a total return of $1,792, but that does not include dividends on this particular stock, which is quite nice here. Almost 5% dividend yield. So again, this pays out monthly, a very good stock to add to portfolios that don't have a lot of capital and you can get a nice cash dividend each month with this ETF. The next stock here is VOO. This is one of my favorite ETFs, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. You can see on the bottom, a very large position, 40 shares, 13,346. And this has had very nice performance here, 47.4% of 42.9185. So again, if you guys are new to investing, if you guys are new to Robinhood, or any of the other brokerage firms, this is a very good stock to jump into, VOO. Uh, the underlying uh, portfolio in this stock, this is an ETF, so it has a collection of stocks. I think it's around 506 at this point, uh, but a very good selection of stocks and overall representation of every stock on the S&P 500. 
so you can get into the stock and have instant diversification rather than trying to pick stocks on your own. Next, we move into healthcare stocks here. First, starting with my pharmaceutical stocks, Abby, ABBV, 31 shares, 32.24. On the bottom there, a very nice return, 70.51%. Lily, LLY, another great stock here, five shares, 723.68, up 115.38%. Pfizer, one of the initial stocks in the portfolio, had added a little bit to this position, 130 shares currently, 47.48. You can see on the bottom there, total return, lackluster, 8.3%. I hope to increase that over time. But again, this stock has a very nice dividend yield, 4.1% currently. So uh, not so pleased with this stock, but there's a lot of room to uh, go. This is one of the stocks that has the coronavirus vaccine coming out. So hopefully with that momentum, the stock can start trending up here very nicely. And again, over the past five years, not a lot of movement, just up 16.26%. Uh, VTRS, this is actually an offshoot of Pfizer because I owned 130 shares of Pfizer. This stock was added to the portfolio. That's why you can see on the bottom there, average cost is zero. Currently have 16 shares, 274.40. Uh, Abbott Laboratories, healthcare companies now, ABT, 60 shares, 63.84. Very nice return there on the bottom, 130.26%. CAH Cardinal Health, currently 18 shares, 967.86. Uh, Johnson and Johnson J and J, six shares, 862.08. Uh, next stock here. Now we're moving into uh, the industrials. Uh, first with Boeing here, BA. As you can see, this is by far one of the largest holdings in my portfolio. I have 1,200 shares. Current market value 261,312. On the bottom there, you can see total return 24.06%. And on the bottom, or excuse me, on top of the screen here, you can see that big drop off here with the coronavirus pandemic getting down below $90. Put some capital in and bought under $100. And over the past five years here, again, you can see that very dramatic drop off here. Took advantage, put some capital in. That's paying off very nicely here. I do think this stock over the next one to two years will trend up back to the three to 400 range. So I'm keeping this stock for the longer term. Again, one of the largest holdings in the portfolio and a stock that I think is very safe moving forward for the longer term. Uh, next stock here, EADSY, the European counterpart for Boeing, Airbus, two shares, 54.75. Did put some money into Southwest Airlines as well. LUV following the Again, rather dramatic drop off here. Got in with 100 shares, 48, 49, and you can see on the bottom there, total return so far, 44.06%. Uh, moving into Lockheed Martin, LMT, one share, 379.30. GE, 228 shares, 23.96.28. Unfortunately, this is one of the poor for performing stocks in the portfolio, down 16.64%. Uh, 3M, MMM. Again, still in industrials here. 12 shares, 21, 25, 44. A WAB Westinghouse, one share, 7409. Illinois Toolworks ITW, one share, 211.10. IP International Paper, 5107, two shares, 102.14. Uh, Canadian National Railroad CNI, one share, 110.75. UNP Union Pacific, one share, 207.24. CTVA Corteva, two shares, 77.16. DD DuPont, two shares, 130.96. And Dow, two shares, 113.68. Uh, so let's now move into consumer discretionary. First with Ford Motor Company, another uh, very large holding in the portfolio, one of the largest holdings actually. I have added to this position, as you can see on the left there, 17,700 shares. Current market value, 161,274. You can see over the past five years, it has trended down here quite a bit. At one point, getting down below four dollars. Let's see if we can get the resolution here to show that four ninety-five. Um, at one point, it did fall below. As you can see there, four oh one. Uh, definitely added to the position during the drop. Currently seventeen thousand seven hundred. Like I said, market value one sixty-one two forty-seven. And overall, not too bad of a return here. Thirty point eight six percent. Thirty-eight thousand twenty-four dollars and ninety-one cents. And that's not including the probable twenty to thirty thousand dollars that I've been doing with options trading on Ford Motor Company. So, very good position, very good stock. 
for my portfolio at least. And when it adds back its dividend, I think this will continue to trend up nicely here. So very happy so far with my holdings in Ford Motor Company. A GM here, one share, 45.63. Tesla is a stock that I've added quite a bit to, as you can see on the left there, 135 shares. $77,652 is the current market value. On the bottom there, you can see total return 67.87%. If you looked at my prior videos, I've been doing a lot of options trading with Tesla as well. So that doesn't include probably another $30,000 worth of options trade. So overall, a very, very good return with Tesla and Ford. A lot of the industrials overall with the coronavirus pandemic definitely has been trending up nicely. And I hope that continues moving forward here, especially if the vaccines for the coronavirus are successful and the economy starts up again. These will be very good longer term trades. And I'm definitely planning on holding those longer term in the portfolio. So let's go ahead and move on to a Garmin here. Uh, two shares, 232.74. McDonald's, 10 shares, 2193.40. YUM Yum Brands, one share, 106.61. And YUMC, the China offshoot here, one share, 58.71. Uh, L Brands, it's kind of moving into uh, textiles, retail, one share, 39.50. KTB Contour Brands, one share, 43.40. And VFC, VF Corp, 10 shares, 875.50. So that kind of rounds out the Consumer discretionary, let's now go into consumer staples. First starting with ADM, Archil Daniels Midland, two shares, 101. SYY Cisco, one share, 71.68. CL Colgate, eight shares, 6.78. Kimberly Clark, KMB, two shares, 281.40. Hershey HSY, two shares, 296.30. KHC Kraft Foods, 18 shares, 585.72. Procter & Gamble, 138.69. Have six shares for eight, uh, excuse me, 832.16. Uh, Anheuser-Busch, BUD, six shares, 407. Uh, KDP, Keurig, Dr. Pepper, 25 shares, 758.25. Coca-Cola, KO, 12 shares, 636. Pepsi, PepsiCo, four shares, 576.64. Uh, this is another stock that I've added to as well, as you can see on the left. 2,300 stocks, 63,112 for market value. On the bottom there, you can see nice return of 23%. But again, I've been doing a lot of options trading, so there's probably another 15 to 20,000 worth of options trades on this stock. So, so far, very pleased with the position. I think the new administration is looking to, at least at the federal level, legalize marijuana. If that does happen, this Canadian company could start growing at a very dramatic pace. I'm going to keep this for the longer term, but this is a very high risk stock. But again, where there's risk, there's reward. So this is definitely a stock that I'm going to be watching very closely. If it does trend up to about 35, I may end up selling off. Uh, but again, a very risky position. But where there's risk, there is more reward. So we'll have to watch this moving forward here, but I may exit this if it does continue to trend up here over the next few months. Uh, let's now move into financials with AX, Axis Financial, 11 shares, 385. HBAN, Huntington Bank shares, four shares, 50, 68. Moving on to MS, Morgan Stanley, 10 shares, 636. Wells Fargo, WFC, one share, 2864. ORI, Old Republic Insurance, 70 shares, 1308.30. IBM now moving into IT technology, three shares, 372.60. Apple, AAPL, 12 shares, 1394.64 for market value. AMD, three shares, 260.49. Intel, INTC, 13 shares, 1191. And Microsoft, MSFT, one share, 214.27. Now we move into telecoms, first with AT&T. On the bottom there, you can see another large position. 750 shares, 21,750. And Verizon, three shares, 181,47. Have one energy company here, ExxonMobil, XOM, 11 shares, 449,68. Utilities, CNP, Centerpoint Energy, four shares, 98,04. Apple, Hospitality, REIT, APLE, 1,300 shares, 17,446. SO Southern, three shares, 182,67. Uh, consolidated Edison ED, 
7866, five shares, 393.30. Now we're moving over into the REITs. Uh, that prior one, APLE, is definitely out of order. I'll have to fix that. Uh, but these are real estate investment trusts. These typically have a very good dividend payout. Uh, as you can see here up on top, FRT, six shares, 546.27. Iron Mountain, IRM, 200 shares, 53.86. O Realty Income 40 shares 2516 and STAG Stag Industrial 1 share 3059. And now I have a few closed in funds on the bottom of the portfolio here GOF 4 shares 7348, PCM PCM Fund 2 shares 2086, Prospect Capital PSEC 400 shares 2216, PTY a PIMCO Fund 1 share 1734. Amplify High Income, YYY, one share, 1570. Have one bond fund here, a BlackRock fund, one share, 1610. And one on the bottom here, a penny stock, Marathon Patent Group, MARA, one share, 510. So that is the portfolio. I'll kind of scroll here from the bottom up to the top. Uh, also on the portfolio, I do have some cryptocurrency. Let's just jump into that very quickly here. You can see 71.37% for total return, 17, 19, 21. So very pleased so far with the investment in Litecoin. And again, if you guys have watched the prior videos on the channel, you guys know I did quite a bit of Litecoin mining in the past. I do have a nice stash of Litecoin on my computer as well. So very, very good performance so far with the cryptocurrencies. But again, let's just scroll very slowly through the whole portfolio here. Again, these are all the stocks in the portfolio currently. I do plan on adjusting some of these stocks here the performance of the overall market has definitely been trending up quite nicely here. And I do hope to transition some of these stocks, consolidate some of these positions. A lot of these stocks, as I mentioned prior, are simply holdouts, holdovers from the overall Robinhood portfolio. But I think I might start selling off some of those and using that capital to put into some other stocks that I would like to hold for the longer term here. Again, that is the overall portfolio. Let me know if you guys have any similar positions, anything else that you think I should add to my portfolio. But this is the current portfolio overall. Again, there's probably about 10 positions that have the bulk of the capital in the portfolio. And then there are a lot of other positions that I simply have had since the original Robinhood portfolio back in 2016. So again, that is the portfolio. Again, over $500,000 for the first time over the past one week. 532,862 is the current portfolio value. And I hope to be putting out these updated videos, I typically will do this once a month prior. I hope to do that moving forward here. And again, I'm going to be diving into a whole video series about my options trading as well as the buying and selling of the longer term buy and hold stocks in the portfolio and what my thoughts are about those moving forward. Again, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And in the next video, we'll see you then.